Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss one more uh, new feature was added in JDK 1.7 or Java 7 and that was a uh, feature which says uh, from Java 7 onwards you can use uh, a string in switch cases. So prior to Java 7, uh, we were only using an uh, integral value in the switch case statement, right? Or data type which easily can convert into a uh, data type which easily can be promoted into the integral like care so care and all type of integer like integer long etc we were using in the switch case statement but Java 7 onwards you can use a string a string data type uh, in switch case statement so let's try to understand uh, using this example so here you can see in main method I have created an object of a scanner taking an input from the user saying that enter name of the name of a day and user whatever value is going to enter by the user that I am going to store in the day of week uh, local variable and that I am passing to the, this method saying that get type of the day with the switch statement this is a local method which I have created it's a static method private private and static so that directly I can call it and finally whatever result is written by this method that I am printing over here right so if you look into this method here whatever value we are passing over here that we are passing in the uh, switch right and here every switch whatever value is coming from the client that is going to compare with every case and whichever case is getting matched uh, body of that uh, case is going to execute and this uh, return value i'm storing in this local variable and finally this local variable will be returned to the uh, caller right that's pretty easy right if user enters monday right then this huge case is gonna match and uh, local variable will store uh, start of the week similarly if user enters tuesday wednesday thursday then type of day value will hold midweek if user enters friday then type of day would be end of work week and uh, if user enters Saturday, Sunday, then we are going to store a week end in this local variable and make sure that you have given the break statement else next case will be executed. So and if none of the cases is matching then default would be executed and this will throw an exception saying that invalid day of the week. Right. So it's pretty straightforward. One thing you will have to keep in mind uh, whatever value you are passing uh, to compare this value with the case. Uh, switch case basically applies a equals method of a string so and equals method as we know that 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 is a case sensitive if you pass a monday and that's a start with a small m then none of the cases is matching and that will throw an exception right so exactly what is in the case like monday which starts from the capital m we will have to type right equals method always uh, compares character by character that is a case sensitive one right so these things of course you can achieve through uh, if else statement as well right uh, if else if a statement but uh, when you write uh, this kind of code using a uh, switch cases then uh, basically compiler generates a very efficient byte code right than writing similar code using uh, if else if right so these things you will have to keep in mind that's what uh, people prefer to use uh, case, switch case statement now let's run this program and let's see what output we get for the different input so right click on this class and run as a java application run as java application so this will ask us to provide the input so suppose i am passing monday as an input and this returns us a start of work week right let's say type uh, we are typing uh, Sunday and of course saying that weekend right similarly we can Friday sorry right so this is saying end of the work week if I type Friday with a small m then what happens so if you sorry guys something I have changed by mistake now let's run it again and let's type Friday in a small I start with a small letter and none of the switch cases will be match and you will saying that 
java dot lang dot illegal argument exception invalid day of the week right so that's what i said uh, whatever you are uh, providing as an input those things going to so, so these things and switch case is going to compare with the equals method right and that is the case sensitive comparison so make sure that uh, you are sending the input exactly what you have mentioned in the switch cases so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys this was pretty quick video on uh, how we can use a string object in switch cases a statement from java 7 onwards in next video tutorial i'm, I'm going to I'll, I'll come with the, some new feature in jdk 1.7 or java 7 and big thank you for watching this video see you next video tutorial